You think because you're Saucy Santana that you like above everybody? I don't you're think that I'm above nothing. Thankfully, think that I'm, above I'm the nothing. best thing that ever happened to you. Just like you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Bitch, you're saying that this yeah. happened to me. Bitch, yeah. I think that was my You're not this happened because of me. 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 You're
So, Zell, what's going to happen next? Uh, now I'm waiting on my court date. I got two charges. I got a battery, a simple battery charge, and I got obstruction charge. This situation has taken a mental toll on me because now it's just like all these financial things that's running up, having problems with just Santana. It just feel like a lot on me that I even have to deal with a legal battle right now. I'm just praying that everything can turn out okay and I can just put this behind me. I will commend you. You are a true friend for like yes. always friend. have been. Sometimes sometimes being a being a go hard, a ride or die and a true friend, you have to be like, you know what? I love you and it was what it was, but I'm gonna have to with you from over here. I can't afford to be putting myself yeah. in those type of situations. And it ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah. So I'm in the studio with Bang. Saucy and Zell are coming through. I dropped it in Zell's ear if he would ask Saucy to be on the song. So we're gonna see how it goes. This is Bang. He produced the song Vogue. And we're just hoping that you'll get on it. Why? Because it's Vogue? Mm. I think you're mad creative, you know what I'm saying? And it's Vogue, I think you fit the mold. I couldn't think of nobody else that could like make sense for the song, you know what I'm saying, so. I'm not going in with any expectations. They'll do her from like a long time ago. I'm going in as a uh, more meet and greet. I am a woman. I will sell my <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Saucy, you've already done a track with Madonna. What do you think of Jessica's vote? Uh, the, my first impressions of the track was, I don't think that Madonna would give a <laughs> if I did that song. So what do you think, Saucy? Um, that's cute. I got a song that sounds exactly like that. Really? Literally the same beat and all that. I'm Jessica White. I don't like to ask for help, and I don't like to ask for favors. I already know the answers now, but I'm not easily shaken. I have to create the vision for myself. How long have you been rapping? Well, no, I'm a, I she sing. Don't really rap, I don't rap. You know what I'm saying? Okay. She sing for real. You just started music, huh? No, wow. I've been doing years since like 2010. Yeah, so why you never work with her? You be rapping the I feel like that show come back, she dropping a new EP, like, y'all both, you know what I'm saying? Get in the field. So you don't want him to help you with nothing? Help. Bangladesh, that's wrong. He wanted to work with you, though. Yeah, what's up with you? Like, oh, you trying to avoid what we trying to You trying to avoid what we trying to do. I ain't trying to avoid it. You know, this is my first time even meeting any one of y'all. So just coming in like, hey, get on my song. I'm like, whoa. Well, I do appreciate you for coming and, and you know, at least oh, listening yeah, to it. I ain't too big for that. A lot of people are out here winging it with music, just trying to do something. Honestly, we in a world where you can wing it. I feel like if she follows her gut with the music that she really likes, it will work for her. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Mm -hmm. Jessica, um, right. this, this is Nick Cannon, um, Baby Mama, right? Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my god. What, this ain't her? No, she's not yes, his baby is. mama, though. Oh, what, what? I had, I had miscarriages, so yeah. Okay, I go, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put it come out like that. When people do that to me, I instantly go into a protective space, like, no, I can have babies. I would have been a baby mother. Nothing that he did was wrong. I think that it's about just being conscious, but most importantly, it's about me healing. You like a little head gym, so I really want you to, like, you know what I'm saying, stay focused on your Absolutely. Do you ever see yourself working with Jessica? Not right now. I don't picture myself on this track. Why? Why I gotta be why? I built my accolades up. Jessica is a starter when it comes to music. I did not know anything about her besides her being Nick Cannon, baby mama. Shout out to Nick Cannon, he a Libra, we got the same birthday. But once she gets a little more established, that's a conversation that we double back and have. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you, babe. Nice to meet you, too, mama. Nice to you. Nice to you, baby. See you, guys. Nice to meet you. Let me tell you something about Zell. Zell is a manipulator and a womanizer. And he sit there with them crocodile tears and he expressed how much he loved you so much. So it's just like. Girls, I haven't been alone with Santana. I done had about three, four, five drinks. Like, I see him, he see me. Let's have a conversation. Yeah.
What is it? I miss you, though. I said, well, I just wanted to apologize to you because I was disrespectful and saying disrespectful that I just, I just don't stand behind because I just was moving off of just my emotions. So I just want to apologize for that. OK. What is that? What is what? Sign in my Zell's talking on social media. You could be saying all this on Tuesday. But on Wednesday, you already trying to get back with a bitch. You need to be focused on getting the f on and stop hitting me up. You was dead ass my f***ing wrong. Well, because I felt like you was being condescending and disrespectful to me. I hate to feel like I'm the only one that I feel like I need to apologize in the situation when I feel like. Yeah, yeah you was dead ass motherfucking wrong. And then you carry and you carry that on. You did too. I didn't you carry did. on. Yes, what did, did I do to you? Posting with that you then FaceTime in front of me trying to be funny. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I ain't got on there saying that old Zell. That I don't want it. I hate that. You get on the internet, you drunk, trying to sell a story. My whole motherfucking story. Put the drink down, because that was the problem the last time. I really love Zell, but I think that Zell was way um, more invested than I was. It's over with. You just do your just run. Why are we not going through this together? Why are we not? the person I am. Maybe I need therapy or something. I don't know. Wow, it's really over. To hear him say it out his mouth, it like makes it so much more real. I'm 35 years old, moved out here for a that don't want me. Well, what's all that? What's up? Yes, I'm pulling up on blow Santana. Up. We I'm haven't spoke in six book. days. I gave him days and days yeah, to I'm like book. hit me back, respond with no response, and just like now it's time for me to pull up because now you you tripping. Last Friday, after you left and you texted me and said you felt like I said I'm not in that mood. Mm. So I said, does that mean that you can't come upstairs and still come upstairs? You're like, oh. To me, it was no point for me to come upstairs and do what. Well, why? It have to be about. We can still come with so you can still lay with me. Your energy was just off, though. Did you go home? Where else would I have went? You might have bent you off into another It's been times I've called you, you went home. It's been times I've called you in a bitch. Fuck your house. OK, yeah. And that was then. So you keep talking about going on a rebuilding journey and this, that, and the third, but you had a problem with what? Because I went home, or because you think I went somewhere else. So about four months ago, I came to Zell and admitted that I was cheating on him. Zell told me that he was going to let it go and that, you know, we was going to move forward. But I could see, you know, Zell has these, like, attitudes. And so I just feel like you don't trust me. And I feel like in a relationship, if you don't trust your partner, it's not going to work. So to me, it's just getting annoying. And why are you even putting yourself through all of this agony when they're going to do? You think because I ain't you, I'm going to go somebody else. Sometimes I feel like that. Like, you like. You feel like I cheated on you. You feel like I did this and did that and third. You keep trying to move on and progress. Like, I ain't tripping on that. Like, yes, you is. That's why you say weird ass mother because you still mother bad. So don't sit there and act like you're not. I don't know where you at. It's, it's hot and cold with you. When you wanted to and I wasn't in the mood, it was just like, is this a case where he can might go find it somewhere else? Him cheating has put a lot of stress on me and on his relationships. Like, yeah, I decided to move past it, but I'm still hurt. So if you decide to move past it with me, you understand, like, I don't want to sit there and harp over these things that hurt me. But like, when you constantly still moving in those same type of ways, it's going to bring up those same type of emotions. You think because you're Saucy Santana that you like a Above everybody. I don't you're think that I'm above nothing. Thankfully, I'm, above I'm the nothing. best thing that ever happened to you. Just like you're not saying that this yeah. happened to me, bitch. Yeah. I see very much. We're not this table because of me. We're not this table because of me. We're not gonna do this without you. I'm gonna take you. Shout out to Gabby. Shout out to Gordon. 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 He knows what to say to get me upset, and I feel like this was all a plot for him to do. I smack you, bitch. Thank you. I
Check out my receipts. I get bread, I get vitamins, I get chicken. That one right there is so nice. 33 carat diamonds, 55,000. 55,000? Ooh. Let me just feel what 55,000 feel on my wrist. Now it looks more expensive. Right. Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Price just went up. Me buying jewelry, I've never bought jewelry from nobody. Like, I don't even think I bought my mama no jewelry. I'm here in Atlanta for love. I felt such a deep connection with Santana. I want to give him everything that he wants and he needs. And I feel like this is what he likes. He's a material girl. So I'm meeting Zell and the jeweler in Atlanta. Zell is such a wonderful boyfriend. I love being spoiled. So I'm about to pull up and see what I can get. Yeah, that's nice, that one. Ooh, pretty fine. Hey. What's up? Me and Saucy, we started dating and then we took a break, but we just couldn't do without each other. But like my guards are still kind of up. Last time, I feel like I was just left like in just like an uproar. Like it was just like, I like, hold on, wait, this is over, wait, we done. Santana does a lot. Are you like it from here opposed to LA? LA is a little different. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's Hollywood. Like, yeah, you know, I love that Hollywood. So Atlanta. You don't think is, this is black Hollywood? No, I just think this is Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> give me a kiss. I feel like you. Damn, just... stop playing with me, boy. Give me a kiss. It's like, I don't want to kiss you, I want to kiss the diamonds. You guys know that I've never, like, been one of those people that's been out, like, oh, yeah, this is my boyfriend, or I'm like that. Like, I was never comfortable with myself to bring that to the public. I want you to put on this paper what you want, the best things to happen to you. Mine was a uh, wife and kids. Because I'm gay, I'm still a man. I'm still going to operate myself like a man. You know what I'm what saying? What is like, a man? Acting like you're not gonna... gay. You're gay. I'm my sister. You're I gay. Said, I didn't say that I'm nothing. I said I was raised by a real With Santana, he just made me so comfortable with myself and just like with him that like, I just feel like I want the whole universe to know that like this is my man, we together. You wanna see, you wanna see the one that I got for you? Yeah. Here you go. Sure. There you go. How much it cost? Yeah, huh? don't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, I need to know the price. Is it 10,000, 3,000, 2,000? You just worry, put it on your wrist. It compliments your wrist. Yeah. A little something, a little dainty. It's like a little piece. I like it. Zell buys me stuff a lot. Whenever he get, like, a check, he want to spend it on your girl. You know, Zell is very ready to put a ring on it, have kids. I like grown men. I don't like men that act like little boys. So what you feel about, like, dating me? I feel like a lot of people gave you a lot of backlash. You know, me being feminine, nails, makeup, purses, all of that. I don't care. This is my real life and my real feelings. I mean, you really got to know each other. I, I really feel like I know you. Mm -hmm. but I don't want nothing I do to hinder who you are. I want anything about me to enhance you. Like, you know what I'm saying? And vice, vice versa. versa, so. You have different type, we all different type of gays, but we all gay collectively and together. I'm open for all that gay <laughs> 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 Maybe we can invite some of my little Atlanta friends. I mean, just like, you know, can I show you off? Oh, I don't no, be Instagram. like. Look, FaceTime, for sure. I feel like I've grown, I've elevated. Zell doesn't see. I feel like a bigger picture for himself sometimes. Zell put his friends before everybody, and that's a big problem in our relationship. You don't know when to hold them, when to fold them. Why can't I just show off our love? Sometimes we have to meet, like, in the middle on that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Most of your friends that, in Atlanta that you're trying to get me to be around, I know through TV. Right. So narratives that I see um, or just different drama that they got going on, and that's just not something that I'm just excited to dive into. Give me a kiss. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. <laughs> I'm anti-PDA. I'm not, I'm not mushy. I'm not a very affectionate person. So it's like, ugh. You wanna kiss on the cheek? You gonna mess up my lipstick. Okay, yeah, I do that because I don't want it in my <laughs>